All right, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, update your Renix Engine Monitor Plus version 3 so that you can put a new code on it or whatnot. It's a little involved, but hopefully with this uh, rundown I can show you how it all works and get you set up. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. So first off, this guide is only going to work for the Plus version 3 models or maybe stuff in the future if it has the Metro Mini. But if you open up the door and you got a version 3, then this guide's for you. So the first thing we got to do is flip this switch right here to upload. All right. So pop to the left. She's good to go. All right. That's all we got to do in here. So we can close that up. Next thing you're going to need is a micro USB cable. Make sure it is good for data. There's a couple people that got stumped for a while because they only had charging cables. There needs to be data on here. So if you can plug this into some other device that connects to the computer and test it out, that'd be great. Our USB port is going to be on the top, and you kind of plug it in backwards so the top of the USB faces towards the back. So you plug it in, and it should turn on. Okay, so that's all that we have to do for that. Now let's move over to the computer and show you how it works. Okay, so real quick, uh, I'm going to run you through what the process looks like normally once you have uh, everything set up. So if you've already done this before and you just want to see the tips, this is how you do it. Alright, so first, let's go to my Facebook page and get the latest download. Okay, so if we come into Facebook right here, always check this pin post, as this is where I always keep all the, uh, the stuff. So down here you'll see software. I will separate this for the version 3 and version 2 stuff, but eventually you'll find your file, so you'll find the current one, which will always be at the top. Just check the version number. And then we got previous ones as well. So you'll click your little download link, and that'll start a download, and we can open that. So once you get your download, it'll be a zip file. We have to unzip it, so just double click on it, or you might have to right click and extract if you're on Windows. All right, so here's the folder. Come in here, you just look for the Renduinix Plus um, sketch, and we'll click that, and that should open up Arduino. Okay, and here we have our entire code, all that fun stuff. So if you ever need to know the upload settings, they will actually be in here. So it'll tell you what software version I used, and how big it is, and I've got the upload settings and the links, okay? So all that good stuff's in there in case you need it. So make sure that your board, port, and program are set. So we'll go up to the top left, tools, board is Arduino Uno. Our port is our SLAB USB to UART. And our programmer is AVR ISP Mark II. Okay, so first we'll verify it. Make sure that everything works. And it does, so that's good. There's no bootloader here, like version 1 and version 2, so you can just click Upload whenever you want. So click Upload, and it should compile, and then you should see the uploading, and all that jazz. So as long as it's writing and doing stuff like that, it's all good. Now if you notice here, something that popped up, uh, updates are available for our libraries. We'll go over that in a second. But once you do that, she's all updated and ready to go. Cool. Alright, so if you've never done this before, it's time to set up your environment and make sure everything works. So the first thing that we need is something called Arduino IDE. And that's just, that's the software. That's what you use the code and stuff like that. So uh, your first link down there, Arduino.cc main software, this is what we need. So we'll scroll down. The latest version right now is 1.8.2. So click which one you want. If you got Windows or Mac, I have Mac, so I'm going to click Mac. You don't have to uh, contribute if you don't want to. I, I did give it a couple bucks before just because, you know, Arduino is awesome. So we'll start a download and we'll let that business go. All right, she's all ready. So we can open this file now. And that will expand it. Okay, so for Mac, the program's ready to go. So you can double click on it here or you can drag it to your applications folder, which is recommended. And if you're updating, It'll ask if you want to replace it. We'll say yes because we're updating to the latest version. So there you go. Now you can come in here and you can open up Arduino. And it should come right up. We'll click yes to open. 
and all that good stuff. All right, so the first time you open this up, you are probably just going to get a blank um, screen and all that stuff. So we can come over to the file that we downloaded from the Facebook page, and we can click it to open it, and it should load. All right, cool. Now, the first thing we want to do is come over here and click Verify, this check mark at the top left. And you notice we get an error for compiling. It's uh, not able to find some stuff. And if we look through the thing, it says it can't find uh, rtclib.h. Now, that is the real-time clock library. Uh, if this is the first time that you're setting up your environment, we have to include the library. So it's actually really easy. I include the library with the download. So we will go up to to sketch, and right here we have include library, and then add .zip library. So we'll click that, and then navigate to wherever the um, the Renduinix file downloaded. So it'll probably be in your downloads folder. I put mine on the desktop though, and then rtclib.zip. We just click that as choose, and it'll add add it in there. So now let's try to verify it again and see if it works. All right, cool, we're on the money, Sonny, so that's all good. So now the next part is going to be getting our COM port to show up because if you haven't downloaded the driver for that, you're not going to get the, the COM port you need. So right in here, we actually have the links that you need. So we will go to the SI Labs driver page, click this guy, open that up. And then on this page, you'll just go to the operating system that you have. So we've got Windows and Macintosh, Linux, all that good stuff. I have a Mac, so I'm going to click the Mac download version. Okay, and we're going to open that as well. So we'll open that, verify it, and then we'll just double click on this package right here. Continue, continue, agree, can install, type in the password, and install. Okay, cool. It's all downloaded. All right, so now that you have downloaded that, you may have to restart your computer, but hopefully we can just come over to Arduino now, and then go into Tools and Port, and this port should show up now. So you'll select the port. Now, if um, for some reason the Arduino software is set to something different. Our board is going to be Arduino Uno, okay, right here. And the programmer is going to be AVR ISP Mark II. So there we go. Now that we have those three settings set up and the library is ready, we can upload. But there's one more thing we need to check, which is that everything is up to date. Because um, if it's not up to date, it might not be the same size. So what we'll do now, or we'll go to sketch, include library, and then manage libraries. And then we will go to updatable. Okay, it actually looks like everything's up to date, which is good. If uh, things weren't up to date, it's good to make sure that they're up to date. So we'll look for RTC lib. We're actually using the Adafruit version. So you click on it to bring these windows up, and then you can select the version. If you're not up to date, there should be a big update box here. So click update, and then it'll do its thing, and then it'll be all good. And then we just come over here and tell it to upload. Okay, and there we go. So now if we come over here, we can check our uh, Renduinix Plus to see if it is updated properly. We'll go to Options, Settings, and then over here, see our latest version right here, version 0 0.81. Cool. So as long as you see that, you know that you updated it correctly. It's actually relatively simple. Okay, so now once you're done that, the last step come back in here, make sure that you switch this back to data, that way it'll actually work on the car. Okay, there you go. She's updated and ready to roll. So if you got any questions, you know, don't hesitate to ask. I can help you through it and uh, we can figure out if we have any issues. 
So hopefully that was uh, straightforward enough. It's not too bad once you get it set up. And even if I don't go over it in the video, always make sure to check the description and check the links in the actual sketch itself for notes at the very top. I might find out later that people need drivers or stuff like that and I'll add that in. So just make sure to give it a quick read. That's all. Alright, and uh, finally, you can jump to uh, the latest version. So say, you know, you have like 0.7 and you just want to go straight to like 0.9 or something like that. That's okay. Uh, but it's always recommended to either, one, go through all your settings and make sure that they're set properly. Because many times I find I have to change how settings are saved. So then they'll show up wrong until you reset them. So just go through and make sure that, you know, if you wanted inches of mercury, it's set to that. If it's not, make sure that you set it to that. Or if you don't feel like running through it, just go to Options, Settings, and then Reset. Tell it yes. And then just unplug it or restart it or whatever. And it'll put all the options back to stock and everything will be set up. And then you can just go through and set what you need. So either way works. So alright. Hope that works for you. And uh, please enjoy the latest version. Thanks for watching.